I would just like to apologise on behalf of Northumbria Police to Hayley's family and friends um, for what's happened. Um, Hayley's death was a result of the actions of a Northumbria Police officer and as a consequence I'd like to say how sorry Northumbria Police is and Northumbria Police employees are for their tragic loss. One of the first things that we do, did after the, the tragic incident was to review our training. We're happy that the training that we actually give to officers is fit for purpose. The problem arose because of a serious error of judgment on the part of PC Dougal. He did not follow his driver training. He did not follow our policies and procedures. The result has now been dealt with by the court today. You can imagine it, it's difficult for everybody. I mean, the loss of a young life is always difficult. I'm sure that PC Dougal um, will probably look back every night and every day in terms of what happened and, and wish, if he could turn back time, and avoid it. It also affects other police officers and colleagues. I mean, when I personally heard about it, it, it made me, um, you know, sad. It, you know, Police officers are still human beings. They're affected by things that happen in the world around them. Uh, and like everybody, they're affected by tragedies such as this. The, the force's policy is that we do permit officers to have second jobs. We put restrictions on those second jobs, in both in terms of the jobs that they can do and the amount of time they can spend doing those jobs. Um, the information I have to hand is that the restrictions that we impose upon officers were actually met by PC Dougal. Uh, and from the information I have, I am satisfied that his second job did not impact on his performance that night. Police driving, in particular police driving at speed, requires an individual officer to make a dynamic risk assessment. On this occasion, either that dynamic risk assessment was not made or it wasn't done appropriately. He didn't drive in accordance with his training. He didn't drive in accordance with our instructions. And the result, as everybody knows, has been the death of Ailey Adamson. Our policy and procedure, our training dictates that if you are driving in excess of the speed limit, you activate your sirens, you activate your blue lights. In other words, you need to warn other road users of the fact that you are travelling at speed. If you've got a long, flat road where you can see well in advance and it's in the early hours of the morning, you know you could probably go well above the speed limit because you're in a position to control the vehicle. If you crest a hill at speed, not being able to see very far ahead of you, then that is dangerous. Um, and that is, in essence, what resulted in the death of Haley Adamson.